hour, yet another terror attack in Jammu and Kashmir, yet another army camp which was thought to be attacked. There was heavy gunfire uh, taking place for over two hours between uh, a group of at least three to four terrorists, we're told, and the security forces. In the process, unfortunately, one BSF Jawan has lost his life while another has been injured. For more on that, let's now go across to my colleague Barkha Dad, who joins us on the phone line with the very latest. Barkha, we do know that one BSF Jawan has been killed. Do we know about any other injuries? Do we know how many terrorists were involved? And do we know if uh, these operations are still on? Well, uh, Neha, at the moment, we are still awaiting for full clarity. What we can tell you from sources in the Northern Army Command uh, is uh, that uh, the situation is being described as having been contained and under control. Uh, senior Army officers that one has been speaking to uh, say uh, they do confirm that one BSF soldier has been martyred in this terror attack. Another is reported to be critically uh, injured. And there are a few other uh, injuries reported among the security forces uh, as well. We do not yet know the gravity and the nature uh, of these injuries. We are also still getting unconfirmed reports that two of those terrorists have been killed. We are awaiting final confirmation uh, on that. Uh, Neha, all that the army officers at the moment will say uh, is that the situation is under control and the firing they believe from the terrorists has stopped. There is no further firing at the moment, at least if that changes, uh, we will update you. But this is what we're told right now, uh, that the firing has in fact stopped. The situation is being described as contained and under control. One BSF soldier has died. Another is critically injured. Now, initial reports suggested that there were three to four terrorists. We are awaiting clarity uh, as to uh, whether all of these have been killed, or whether two of these uh, have in fact uh, been killed. Have the other two uh, managed to, uh, to to get to get out or get away? These are all questions uh, that we will need a little more time uh, to get clarity on. What we do uh, know, of course, is that this was an attack near the 46 Rashtriya Rifles camp, but it was also a camp that adjoined uh, a BSF and a police lines. It is in uh, one part of uh, Baramula town across the Jhelum uh, River, uh, which would of course provide a convenient entry and escape route uh, for these terrorists. And that this took place a little over two hours uh, ago. Uh, and, uh, and, and of course, this is the same district uh, where uh, the uh, Uri attack uh, also took place that eventually claimed the lives of uh, 20 security personnel. And uh, it brings home the fact uh, that uh, Pakistan backs to dying groups, suicide squads will continue to be sent uh, to attack security installations. Uh, we do not yet know if this is a fresh, uh, if these are terrorists from a fresh infiltration or uh, an earlier one. Uh, you would remember that the surgical strikes announced. Uh, uh, by India were also to stop an infiltrating group of terrorists uh, that the Director General of Military Operations said was out to attack uh, 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 Jammu and Kashmir, installations in Jammu and Kashmir, as well as major uh, metro cities. And while that group may have been stopped by the surgical strikes, uh, there are clearly groups that are still being pushed in uh, or either have already been pushed in earlier. We are awaiting more details at this point. Barkha, as we speak to you, we are now getting first visuals uh, of the site of this encounter that we must clarify for our viewers. These are not live visuals of the operation that's currently underway. These are visuals from earlier in the evening. Remember, this encounter went on for at least two and a half hours. We are hearing reports now that firing may be over. These visuals that you see on your screen are from earlier in the evening uh, when the firing in fact began uh, near this uh, army uh, camp in Baramula, as Barkha was reporting there, uh, this is of course the same district of North Kashmir where another army installation, the Uri army installation, was attacked just two weeks ago. It, that turned out to be the worst attack on the Indian army in decades, leaving 19 of our soldiers dead. Barkha, if you're still with us on the phone line, I'd like for you to look at the big picture for us. Now, many have been saying that, you know, the kind of situation that we've witnessed over the past several weeks, perhaps even though this is extremely unfortunate what we're witnessing right now, especially given the fact that one BSF Jawan has lost his life. But this is not surprising at all. We've seen a huge amount of unrest in, in Kashmir for over two months now. Many had feared that
that terrorists would perhaps want to take advantage of a situation like that. Then you had that Uri attack that left 19 of our soldiers dead just two weeks ago. And subsequently, you had India, uh, the Indian Army, uh, crossing the line of control, carrying out surgical strikes in Pakistan-occupied Kashmir, targeting terror launch pads. Many had feared that there would be retaliatory attacks from the other side. There was a state of high alert, not just in Jammu and Kashmir, but across the country. Uh, some would say that this, in a sense, is really playing to that script. Well, uh, Neha, I think the army has uh, been anticipating these kind of suicide squad attacks. It is not as if these attacks did not take place before the surgical strikes. And I think there certainly was a high alert after the strikes uh, because there was a sense that Pakistan, which is uh, denied uh, for obvious reasons that these surgical strikes have taken place, uh, could choose to respond uh, as it always has uh, through these asymmetric uh, proxy weapons of war, which is to push in terrorists who then launch, uh, you know, these kind of suicide squad attacks. They come to uh, kill uh, soldiers and they and they come to, you know, and they're ready to die themselves, hence they're called uh, these Fedayin squads. So this, to some extent, was anticipated. If you remember, even the Director General of Military Operations, while making the announcement of surgical strikes, did make the point uh, that it was a preemptive strike to stop terrorists who were coming in to launch precisely these kind of attacks. So this has always been worked into the script. I think what will be critical at this point uh, is to know whether these uh, terrorists were able to breach uh, even the outer perimeter or whether they were able to be contained outside. Uh, we are awaiting more uh, details to be able to confirm that officially. Uh, at the moment, uh, the army not saying uh, very much except to confirm uh, one soldier having been uh, killed and another soldier uh, critically injured both of the border security force, uh, these terrorists attacking in Baramullah. Yes, the same district, uh, but physically at quite a distance uh, from Uri, which was right at the line of control.